Hola, buenos dias, good morning everyone. Welcome to a beautiful morning here in the Spanish Alpujarras. And yes, my dreads are having a little holiday and I'm having a bit of self-care time <laughs> for my hair. I do feel a bit bald, I have to admit, without my dreads. <laughs> so, I just wanted to share, good morning Rose. I just wanted to share, um, come on and share a little bit about the healing portal that starts next week. The first one that I ran, the three day online live event in July was just awesome. It was incredible. We had over 40 people come into the portal and um, the healing and transformation was just tremendous. And the focus for July was all about grounding awakening, releasing and transformation. And the energy for next week's three day live event is very, very different, but I can feel it building already within me. So our focus for next week for the healings and channelings and transmissions and live streams and postings and get togethers is going to really focus around embodying our truth and our freedom through love. As I keep saying, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work uh, for myself on my own inner world, been working, I don't, I don't want to use the word working, it makes it sound like hard work. It's actually just like diving into self-discovery, taking away the layers, embracing all that I am, releasing the illusions. And I came through with the statement that my role as a channel is to embody truth and freedom through love and to share that and to pass that on to everybody that comes into the star beings vibration. So whereas July's energy was expansive and outwards and da da da, October's energy for the healing portal is really powerful but it's taking us inwards, it's taking us in to our truth. That means there's going to be a whole lot of shifting that means that we're going to be embodying, we're going to start living our truth. We're not going to be living through the illusions or the facades or the old beliefs or old patterns that we grew up with and have perpetuated through our adult life. We really are going to be coming into our truth and coming into our truth means coming into our hearts. And that brings us freedom because we're no longer slave to negative thinking patterns, to fear, to control, to worrying about what other people will think or being afraid to make change in our life or feeling separate or lost or alone. When we come into our hearts, there's actually freedom in there. Our outside world doesn't necessarily have to change, but because we change and shift on the inside and come into our truth, that is where the freedom lies. And that all comes through love. Not the airy fairy fluffy love that's double air kisses and long floaty skirts and superficial love. I'm talking about the true deep love, the universal love, the love that the star beings brings through because that love is transformational. That love is our life force. I am a channel of divine pure love. That's my role, that's my purpose, and it's my passion to share this with you and to help people, to help anybody move through their own transformation into embodying love in their everyday life. Because when we do that, life changes. <laughs> life really, really changes. It doesn't mean that we don't get upset or triggered or people don't piss us off or we don't have to go to work. It's when we're holding that beautiful space within us that we can move through all the ups and downs with ease, with grace, with joy, with trust, with love, with flow. And that might sound impossible, but I promise you that if you come into the vibration of love and you look within and you start really discovering what isn't of you and letting go of that, then you will find that peace and that confidence and you'll no longer be living in fear or self-doubt or confusion or feel like a slave to the system. Um, so this is what the healing portal, that's the premise behind October's healing portal is about embodying our truth and our freedom through love. And that also includes self-love. So we'll also be focusing on self-care 
and how we can bring more love and self-nurturing into our everyday life. It's all about bringing that magical divine aspect of ourselves into everyday life. You don't have to go suddenly all spiritual and woo-woo and buy your meditation cushion and have incense burning 24 hours a day. I promise you. This is all about you and your heart. And we actually have fun along the way too, because I like to keep it real. I really, I've never fitted into sort of like the spiritual image of the goody two-shoes that is prevalent in Western society. I've never fitted into that because I can, I can smell BS a mile off and I just cannot do fake. <laughs> so if you fancy a bit of real deal love through galactic presence, through the star beings, then oh, I really would love to share the online healing portal with you. It starts on Thursday, Thursday afternoon. I'm waiting to see what the weather is going to do because here in the Alpujarras we're in that shift, we're in that in-between stage of how the weather is shifting from summer into autumn and into the cooler weather. Um, but it will probably be in the afternoon sometime. And I am standing right now where we're going to be creating the new healing portal, Earth Mandala for the star beings. And this is how we start off the portal, cre using the gifts of Mother Nature, using everything that is called to come into the mandala to create that sacred space on the land because it's so important for us to ground through Mother Earth, to connect with Mother Earth, to connect with the land where we are. And no matter where you are in the world, your energy will be held here in the Earth Mandala on the land. And um, I'll be asking everybody that comes into the portal to share and include the names of everyone you'd like to receive healing. So it becomes a really beautiful healing ceremony, not only of anchoring the vibration of the star beings here, but also of sharing the healing with all those that we love. So this is the view, hopefully you'll be able to see there we go. This is the view um, that the mandala will be looking out on. We are on our land. It's not too far away from where the other mandala was in July, but the energy up on this terrace is very, very different. So that's the first thing we'll be doing. And I'll be live streaming that healing and that creation of the, the earth mandala on Thursday afternoon. And then over the Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we will be immersing in pure healing live streams in the morning. There'll be a focus for each day. So the first day is going to be truth. Friday is truth. Saturday is freedom. And Sunday focuses on love. And we're going to be magnifying it and embodying and expanding and shining and radiating and just totally shifting our state of being through the star being's presence. So every day there'll be a pure healing live stream in the morning. There will be a post to focus and set your intentions and to really put it out there um, for your own healing, for what you would like to shift, what, how you would like to feel, what truth means to you. Maybe you just need the courage to share your truth, to say something that you've been putting off or procrastinating about, or we've all got something here that we haven't shared with the world that we're holding back. So I really want to help us set that free. Um, the Saturday will all be about freedom. Oh my goodness, the freedom to be ourselves. We are so conditioned into living in little boxes <laughs> and to um, conforming and to doing what we're told and living the life that we, that society says we should get up, go to school or go to college or go to work, have the big house, work towards having a bit bigger house, work towards having a better, faster car having the clothes that the fashion world tells you to. It's a, we're slaves, we're sheep. <laughs> and now, when we come into our hearts and into our freedom, we realize that we have a choice as to how we live our lives, how we share ourselves, what our priorities are, what our focus is. And we can choose to detach and step back from all that no longer serves us energetically, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So Saturday will be all about our freedom and there will be some wild woman um, stuff going on there as well. 
um, she says, not having a clue how that is going to manifest, but it will show itself in the flow. And Sunday we'll be focusing on love. So every day, every day, there will be a pure healing live stream, pure vibrational healing out in nature. And in the evenings, there will be a Zoom call where we can all come together into Zoom, meet each other, share time with each other. There will be a full channeling, which means pure healing plus light language. And there will be a chance for everybody to share and to express themselves, express their truth, express their freedom, and to really embody the shift and the changes that the healing portal is going to be holding uh, for us all. And Sunday is love. So whatever love comes, however it shows itself to you, however we embody that transformation and that healing, that is what Sunday is all about. And you don't need to worry. You do not need to be glued to the internet or glued into the Facebook group to enjoy this healing portal because everything will have a replay and the replays will be available as soon as I get them uploaded, straight away. So everything will be available on the day so you don't miss out. So it's really important not to feel that you you can't come if you're busy that weekend because the experience from all my work in channeling and replays and working with groups and individuals is that if you commit to be in the healing portal, you will receive that healing whenever you watch the replay, whenever you feel it's right for you to tune in. So you won't miss out if you can't join everything live. So don't worry about that. I know what that's like <laughs> myself. So there is absolutely no expectations or pressures. You are the one that creates your experience within the portal as to how you participate and when you participate. It's, this isn't school. This is not like the old school days where you sit and listen and I try and teach you something because that's a load of bollocks. I open the door for you. The star beings open the portal for you. The energy and the transformation is there for you whenever and however you wish to connect with it. We are all, if you're watching this live stream, you probably already know me and my work and we are already conscious and aware and we have a choice. Everything comes down to a choice and being aware of our own procrastination or self-sabotage or um, thinking it's not possible or being influenced by other people saying it's a load of rubbish or you'll never do it or you'll never achieve anything. No, not anymore. We don't subscribe to any of that anymore. We are empowered. <laughs> we are in our truth and we are free to make our own choices. So the healing portal is only £33. I have gone against all advice <laughs> because last time it was such a powerful experience and £33 was really just a crazy, beautiful love offering for people to come in and enjoy the healing and to make it accessible to everyone. So do not think that £33 is the monetary value of what you'll be receiving because it is not. I am just opening and sharing with everything that I have to make this portal accessible, to help you get beyond your blocks of, oh, I can't afford it or I don't have the time. I have this incredible space here and I really would love to share it with you. So £33 is, um, is the gift <laughs> from me to you for all the healing, the transformation and everything that's going to happen over the, the three full days and on the Thursday. And remember, you can include everybody that you love and want to help in the healing of the Earth Mandala as well. So um, quite a few people are there. I'm just going to let me just don my glasses and just say hello to a few of you. Oh, the squint. Here we go, that's a bit better. Hello Claire in Edinburgh, Kaylee, Ian, hello, hope you're healing well. Good morning Fiona, um, Kaylee, lovely, Magdalena, oh, mwah. hola chica. Ineke, my beautiful sister in Belgium. Leslie, hello, Eva, Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. Um, Kaylee saying, could you send me details please? I'm loving the energy of the land and why something right now. Kaylee, I'll put the link to the event in um, in the comments when I get back to the house. Lovely. Hilary, hello. Elaine. Now, Elaine, is your, was it your birthday yesterday? I'm just mwah, sending you so many beautiful birthday love-filled wishes. 
<laughs> okay, Amanda, hello lovely. Right, Rose in Ireland, and you're soon going to be here, Rose, to feel the magic of these mountains yourself. So, this is where the Earth Mandala will be. We're actually going to be doing something a little bit different this time. We're going to be using some of the, the plants that are here already as a centerpiece for the mandala. I'm going to be bringing my crystals, um, collecting any material from the land that wishes to join um, and be part of the mandala. So I will keep that as a little surprise. And also, this is where we see the wild fox at night quite often. So I'm going to be sharing the spiritual significance of the fox um, that's going to be joining us in the, the portal. Right, well how about we do some light language. Let's start off the day with some love, with some peace. Whatever your feelings around light language, it's about stepping out of your mind. It's about letting go of what you think is communication, what you think is a language, what you think you understand and your beliefs around what is possible and what is healing and what is not. I only started sharing light language in February. I had this massive breakthrough um, during a breathwork session with Martin McNichol in the New Earth Mystery School and that is when the language started coming through and it is gathering momentum. It is a very unique, very fast, very intense light language and I only need to share just a few minutes of it at a time um, for the vibration to be felt and for the harmonics and frequencies to be felt and to move through your body, your cells, your emotional body, your mental body. But it is a case of letting your mind be quiet and letting your mind step aside and not dropping into the old pattern of, well, what's this? I'm not quite sure what this is about. What does that mean? <laughs> well, that sounds a bit strange because <laughs> you believe you me, I've done that for myself. <laughs> so light language is a healing. It's a healing through sound, through frequencies from a galactic source. It's from the star beings. It's not me. There's no labels. There's no attachments. There's no names. So I don't say Arcturian or Lemurian or bird tribe or Venusian, nothing like that. This is pure presence and pure love coming through in a communication for you through frequency and harmonics. And when we step out of our minds and allow ourselves to receive, magic happens. So I'm going to sit down, sit down here. Oh, it's a bit spiky. Oh, it is really spiky. Oh, <laughs> right. I'm sitting where the Earth Mandala is going to be, and it is spiky. Uh, dry grass after the really hot summer here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know somebody's laughing at me. It's really spiky. <laughs> Note to self: check the grass before you sit down. So. <laughs> okay, if you'd like to join with me in some light language, maybe take this chance to just close the door, turn your notifications off and just come into presence with me and coming into presence just means slowing your breath down and taking your focus within. During a full channeling, I go into a deep, deep trance state where I lose all sense of my body, my physicality, and all I feel is the vibration and the presence of the star beings. And I hold no memory of what is shared or what happens while I'm in that trance. But these little insights, these little light language and just mini healings here, I'm just taking myself into an altered state. The star beings will be around us, but I'm not going to fully embody them. But it's enough of a shift to be able to share their light language. Okay, so let's go in. Let's do this. <laughs> Kaylee's saying sheer emotion already. Their energy is incredible, Kaylee. It really is. It can be incredibly emotional because we are, we really are connecting 
with our hearts and we spend a lot of our everyday life disconnected from our hearts. We live generally from our heads, thinking and doing. And it's when we allow ourselves the moments to be that we really feel the beauty and divinity and sacredness and awesomeness and beauty of who we are. Morning, Fiona. Morning. And Lee. Hello, Lee. Right. Let's do this. I'll stop waffling <laughs> and let's go into the light language. I'm holding the selfie stick. So I'll see if I can hold it while I'm doing the, the healing. Wonderful, Kaylee. Okay. Closing our eyes. And just really taking your focus within. And slowing your breath down. And just see yourselves here, feel yourself here with me up in the mountains. The expanse of freedom and peace and space. Just let go of your outside world, what's going on in your life. And come and join me here in this moment. Through our hearts. There's no distance. We are multidimensional beings. We are one within this eternal, infinite moment of love. And the energy is already flowing. The star beings are here. Surrender. Let go. With every breath, just allow your body to become more deeply relaxed and heavy. And just feel yourself upon Mother Earth. Feel yourself standing or sitting upon her land and feel the grounding as she holds you and calls you deeper into her heart. The stronger our foundations, the freer we become to fly high, to soar, to explore, to expand and to dive deeper into our truth and our healing. Slowing your breath down. You even just see white light coming in when you breathe in. And as you breathe out, see the light spreading through every muscle, every bone, every cell. As I go quiet, just for a few moments, just allow the energy and the love to come in, to move through you, to bring you all that you need at this time. And the light language will flow.
Allowing yourself to be in stillness. And just to be in the present moment. Allowing the energy to flow through you. And being aware of any sensations, emotions. Energy shifting, moving. And know that all is welcome because all is of love. And all is healing through love. Taking a deep breath in. Becoming aware of your physical body, making sure to ground, send those roots down into Mother Earth. Ooh. <laughs> and on your next breath in, really ground and pull that energy through you. And as you breathe out, open your eyes to see the world through love. And welcome to the new world, the new earth, where you embody your truth and your freedom through love. Where you become the master of your experiences. No longer slave to old emotions, to fear, to control. And to all of that shebang that we got so used to living. <laughs> Didn't even know we had a choice to live from our hearts. <laughs> this is Kaylee saying, wow. Isabel, oh my sister. Oh my goodness. 
my TP partner in crime. <laughs> Kaylee, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. Claire, hello. Melissa, sending you lots of love wherever you are near Croatia on your beautiful holidays. Hello, Pat. Hello, lovely. And Karen. I can't see all the names. Hilary. Hello, lovely. Marie, good morning, Marie. <laughs> oh, Kaylee's saying, I can feel it. It's so beautiful. Thank you for the space you have opened right now. Kaylee, this portal is here for all of us whenever we want to step into it. It is a choice. <laughs> it's a choice to choose love in every moment. Doesn't mean that we don't have bad days or hiccups. But love is always a choice that we can bring into every aspect of our life. <laughs> and here's synchronicity. I've just received notification of the email I've sent out um, telling everyone about the healing portal opening next week. Ah, okay, my lovelies, I'm going to put the link to the portal um, into this live stream. And do come in and say hello. If anyone's got any questions, just reach out through Messenger. Um, or post in the Facebook event for the three-day online healing portal and I'll be there. I'm here for you and I can't wait to welcome you in. Sending you so much love and see you again soon. Have a fantastic super duper day. Lots of love. Bye for now.